Hi everyone, back here for another video of my iPad Mini 6 series. Today I'm pairing the iPad Mini 6 with the Pink K380 keyboard and M220 silent mouse. This is just a simple video how to use the keyboard and mouse with the iPad Mini and some simple ways I can be productive with all these devices through keyboard shortcuts and some gestures. There's no doubt holding the iPad Mini 6 is nice to the hand and very portable obviously because of its size. In fact, typing on the iPad Mini 6 without an external keyboard and just by itself is actually a really nice experience. Typing this way, which is in portrait or vertical mode, the keyboard is just in the right size that even with my small hands, my fingers can easily reach all the letters. So typing is kind of like texting but on a phone with bigger screen and keyboard so it's easy and comfortable to do. But when I switch to horizontal or landscape mode, typing using the virtual keyboard is really not for me. This is because it takes up a big chunk of the screen. So the best way to type is to use a keyboard and to make it nicer, I will pair it with a mouse as well. Pairing the K380 keyboard is the same as any Bluetooth device. First, of course, switch on the device and then I can pick the device switch I want to use and press and hold on it until the light starts blinking and then I can select and pair it to the iPad Mini 6. The K380 will work not only with the iPad Mini 6 but on any supported devices by according to Logitech. So I've added the link in the description box if you want to check if you can use this with your device. I have here the standard K380 that is compatible with Windows, Android, and Mac and iOS. Here is a typing test from monkeytype.com so you can see and hear how the typing is on the pink K380 keyboard. Moving on to the mouse. This is the Logitech M220 mouse and it can be connected to the iPad via the USB receiver and not directly by Bluetooth. So to pair this to the iPad Mini 6, I have to use an adapter to plug in the USB receiver. Once it's plugged in, it's ready to be used. There are no other settings to turn on, just turn on the power of the mouse itself and then I can start clicking and scrolling. And speaking of scrolling, same as other Bluetooth mice and I've mentioned this in many of my other videos, the scrolling is not that smooth as you can see here. But the dragging of the mouse icon, the left and right clicks work okay, no lag or delays there. The M220 mouse, this is one of Logitech's budget mouse, priced at around 23 US dollars. Uh, but actually I got this on sale from Lazada, Thailand, and it was just 369 Thai baht, and that will be around 11 US dollars. The pink color of the M220 is a perfect match to the pink K380. This has a combination of matte and shiny finish where it's matte on the area where my fingers rest and the shiny part is just on the top part. This has the nice form plus the silent mouse feature that makes it really easy on the hand when using it for long hours. Here I'm using the mouse and I can barely hear the mouse clicks, so it's truly a silent mouse. But I still feel the subtle click feedback so I know the clicks are working. The scroll wheel is also kind of silent but not as quiet as the clicks.
Although the iPad mini 6 is small, once I pair this with any of my keyboards and mouse, I can get into a productive zone to do some work for my YouTube channel. It's kind of the same productivity I get when I use my iPad Pro. My usual big work is writing scripts for my videos and I love typing on the K380. And it surely helps to type with an external keyboard so the small screen of the mini is usable. Not ideal, but usable. Aside from typing my scripts, I need to use other apps like refer to Safari for to read some websites or in YouTube for research or watching videos, keep me company while working or other apps to do my work. And if you've been here on my channel, you will know that I love keyboard shortcuts. So in the iPad mini 6, I can use my favorite keyboard shortcuts to move around my iPad. It helps me to be more productive and maximize this tiny device. Here are my favorite shortcuts and maybe it may also help you when you use your iPad mini or any iPad models. First and one of my most used keyboard shortcut is the command plus tab key which helps me to easily switch between my open apps. Also because this is a similar shortcut to the Windows PC like the alt plus tab so it is a very familiar shortcut and very well used at least for me. Another of my favorite shortcut is the command plus H and that is to go directly to the home screen. And next shortcut is the command plus spacebar and that will bring up the spotlight search. This spotlight search, I can do any type of search whether I want to open an app and no need to go and browse different home pages of my iPad. Next are the multitasking shortcuts and I use this a lot when I'm writing scripts and I need to refer to different apps. I can do a split screen by using the shortcut caps lock plus control and the arrow left or right key. This will put my current screen on one side and I can choose to open a new app on the other side. If I want to go back to full screen mode, I just need to make sure I select first the app I want to put in full screen mode. So I do command plus tab and say here I choose the notes app, then I can do caps lock and F and now I'm back in full screen. To make my current app display to be a slide over screen, I can do the shortcut caps lock option and then left or right arrow key. Then again, I can choose another app that I want to be the main screen. And if I want to hide the slide over screen, I can do caps lock and the backslash. And to show it again, it's the same shortcut caps lock and the backslash. And to move it to the other side, I can do caps lock option and then arrow left or right. And if I want the slide over screen to be the main app displayed, I can do that by again making sure I am on that app. So I do command plus alt to choose the app and then I can do caps lock and F to make it full screen. Now you might ask why I use the caps lock key and maybe for you it's not working. First, this has to be configured in the iPad's keyboard settings. This multitasking keyboard shortcuts work when the keyboard has the globe key. Since the K380 does not have that, I need to change the modifier key settings of the caps lock key to work like the globe key. And then all these keyboard shortcuts I just mentioned will work. If you use the caps lock key to type in all caps, then this may not work for you, but please be kind. Don't type in all caps, especially in chats and comments. Anyway, if you want to know the full details of the multitasking keyboard shortcuts on the K380, check out my other video. I already made a dedicated video about it. I can also use the mouse, which for many, this is the more natural way to move around the iPad and do multitasking. I can easily switch apps by dragging this bar at the bottom, either left or right. 
Then for multitasking that we I just showed you a few clips earlier on the keyboard, I can also do that with the mouse. With iPadOS 15, it's now easier to do this thanks to this three dot icon on the top. It's quite self-explanatory where you see this middle icon is to do a split screen while the third icon is to do a slide over screen and the first one is to make the app in full screen mode. But the mouse gestures are still there if you want to do that. Again, I have another video explaining in detail how to do the mouse gestures on the iPad. Check out the links in the description box for my different videos on details how to use the K380 keyboard, whether it's the multitasking shortcuts or any other keyboard shortcuts, and also how to use a mouse on the iPad. And that's it. Thanks for watching.